when we want to store value which are related let's say uh, name of 100 students right so obviously 100 uh, different variables will make things cumbersome if you want to store 100 names of students and we take 100 100 and if we take 100 variables for that that will be cumbersome so that's where we need data structures like arrays right now arrays store a group of related 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 variables for example it can be an array of integers it can be an arrays of it can be an it can be an array of strings can be have it can be an array of floating point numbers right they can be stored one after another in a contiguous portion of computer's memory they can be stored one after another in a contiguous portion of computer's memory so a six character string such as python will be stored in a contiguous portions of memory like p y t H O N N zero one two three four five right so zero one two three four five are index for uh, each each character store. Please note that the Python internally represents each Unicode Unicode character as sixteen bits, which means two bytes. So that so the above string is. Uh, there are six six characters so 12 bytes and in and in arrays any cell can be accessed in a constant time of o of one right so let me demonstrate this practically how it works out in python 3 four names of students in a in a in, in, in an array seven Josh Alfred printed okay so that's how you can uh, store it store so that's how you store store the elements in an array in python and i have just printed it if you want to access some particular string of this of this of this array then student pr print student uh, let's say i want to i want the second element all right so since the index starts from zero it will be one right and let's say if i store a string so it prints the string but i can also access let's say the third third character of the string so it prints l okay because a string is stored as an array of as an array of characters in python so pretty useful data structure when you have to uh, store a group of related related variables uh, it can be student names student student uh, student id salary so 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 array is a pretty helpful data data structure there right we will explore it more if you have any doubts or suggestions you can leave a comment and subscribe to this channel for more videos on data structures and data science